He's made us laugh, cringe, and shake our heads in disbelief at the awful things he would put his body through. And now former Jackass star Steve-O is sharing details about his heyday as a self-proclaimed professional idiot. In an interview with GQ, the now eight-year sober 41-year-old opens up about his drug addiction that nearly killed him and recounts a story involving a lot of cocaine with none other than Mike Tyson. According to Steve-O, the night started when he decided to crash a party in the Hollywood Hills. I remember I was distinctly not invited, but I showed up and rang the doorbell. Mike Tyson opened up the door. I said, hey, is it cool if I come in? And he said, you got any coke? And I told him, yeah, dude, I got a bunch. And I did. I had like a whole eight ball in one pocket, half an eight ball in the other pocket. Steve-O went on to explain that the two men locked themselves in a bathroom where he said Tyson emptied out the tobacco from a cigarette and filled it all the way to the top with cocaine. Like pure cocaine. And I'm fascinated. I'm thinking that can't work. He filled it until it was fucking full as fuck, and he made it work, man. He sat there and smoked the whole deal. That's when Steve-O, who admittedly said he always would just blurt out inappropriate shit, found himself in a philosophical conversation with Mike Tyson about racism. Said to him my exact words, you know, Mike, I don't have a racist bone in my body, but I like to consider myself a, I'll never forget. He said, you ask me, the definition of that word is anybody who uses it. And I was like, damn, Iron Mike deep as fuck. And so we're talking about the finer points of racism in America or whatever, just sort of philosophizing about how to make the world a better place. Steve-O, who later convinced Tyson to break his nose, says that Tyson is, quote, the nicest guy. That's all for now, but for all of your pop culture updates, be sure to subscribe to Complex on YouTube. Full time, he's also taking criminal law courses at Oklahoma State. Right now he backs off from a sharp right uppercut to the body by Tyson. Again, a double right hand to the body and the chin. Down goes Lorenzo Boy. The Shoot. count is five. The count is six. The count is eight. He will not get up. It's over. Sam, show me what heavyweight throws punches that quick. And here it comes. It was a hard left hand. He didn't get full extension on it. Then. Right hand to the body, just like that, upstairs oh, with the right uppercut. Oh. Good night. Wow. And Lorenzo Boyd saying, what hit me? Watch the side of Lorenzo Boyd's body. You think the body shots of Tyson, I mean, the body just about collapses in there. It's the tremendous leverage that Tyson has, the way he throws his punches. He gets his entire body, 219 pounds, went into each of those two right hands to the body. because down he goes, the left hook just buried him, dug him in the ribs, I think it was a and Michael left and a right. Johnson went goodbye. That left hook just caught him and sent him right to the canvas. 23 pound weight oh, advantage, goodness. and he put the it all right, there. The right to the head, and it's all over, goodbye. I hope he's not hurt because that was a brutal wide open punch. It's a it's right hand, it was a right hand, right there. No, we didn't see it yet. I'm well, sorry, here it comes. There's the left there's hook. There's the hook to the body. He, and missed, he missed the right. The right. Yeah. It was just the left hook. One right hand. He didn't wait for an invitation. Here it comes. Whoa. I'll tell you, Michael Jack Johnson earned his money the hard way tonight. Well, there's not much to say about that knockout except to watch it. I think, as a matter of fact, that was such a... A fantastic finish. By the way, there's Michael Jack Johnson uh, getting up, and I think my friend Steve Farhood is going to get up into the ring, and we're going to have him talk to Mike Tyson as soon as he can get in there. Look at Michael Jack Johnson. 
He's still hurting. That jaw might be broken. 